Hello, my name is Alessio Bernardelli and uh, I'm the Science Field Development Officer at NGFL Camry. I'm here today to show you how I use a Web2 tool called Glockster to get my students to create interactive posters online. Now, Glockster is, uh, in a way, a new way of blogging. So instead of blogging in words mainly, Glockster allows you to blog through images and through a poster. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the website adu.glockster.com and register. The registration process is very simple, just a few questions. And then you can log in with your username and password. And once you're into your account, you're given uh, a few details about your profile, your previous uh, glogs that you've created. And this is one I've created with NGFL Camry to encourage pupils in Wales to glog about their results from the experiments that were proposed in our, one of our resources on the kinetic theory. If I click on my dashboard, I now have the option to add a class or to add students, new students, into my account. I will be connected with my students as they will become my friends in Glogster, but I can also uh, manage their accounts. In fact, if I click on the student, I can now see what their glogs are. I can send a message. I can also edit their blogs and check their work online. So it's a nice way of uh, presenting pupils' work, which they really like as well. Another thing that I really like about Glogster is that learners will be limited in a way by the space provided by the poster. So they will really have to be careful about the information that they put. They will have to try and synthesize uh, the information that they want to use in their presentation and uh, they will have to be concise and really select appropriate and relevant information. So here is the basic template for your Glog. Everything is editable in Glogster and here you can move your title, you can rotate it, you can also add new things like uh, a new graphic for example, we could have this uh, image of the skeleton and now it sits here and I can again move it and rotate it and, and so on. I can add text and I can also choose how to add text, have this uh, nice frame uh, and the speech bubble in here. So when I then go to edit, I can write what I want here instead. So that's all very nice and quick. It's very easy to create a new blog. I can also add an image, which I can use from one of the ones that I previously uploaded. And also I can put it inside the frame by looking at all these possible frames that are in the Glogster library. I decide to use this one. Now I can obviously resize it just like what you would do in PowerPoint and once I've resized it I can again decide to rotate it and give it a little bit of a more interesting outlook. I can also add videos and sounds so for example if I add this video little video that I've created earlier I can also put that video inside a frame and I can again, like with the images and everything else, decide to rotate the video. You will be able to play the video once you've saved and published your blog. In fact, if you press the save or publish button, you can decide to save the blog as an unfinished blog and complete it later on, or save it as a finished blog and if you select this option, the blog that you saved will be private, meaning that only you and your class can see that blog, 
or you can have it public, meaning that everybody will be able to see the Glog that you've created within the Glogster community. However, when one of your students creates a Glog, that will just be a private Glog, so that you can be the only one that sees it and the class. But I would really like to encourage you to create your own Glogs and share them with your classes and get your pupils to create glogs and share them with each other, with their parents and obviously with their teacher. This is a great way, I believe, of presenting information and it can be fun and a little bit different and certainly creative and innovative. So thank you for listening and watching this uh, tutorial and a goodbye from NGFL Camry. Bye.